Okay, happy Halloween. So I'm drawing a spider today. I went to Shinjuku Park. It was one of the first really cold days in October. It was really rainy. Like, like London or Seattle weather. And there were these giant spiders in these enormous webs every, I want to say every three meters or so. So about 10 feet, every 10 feet, there was another spider all the way around the entire edge of the park that we walked, um, which actually wasn't very far because the park is enormous. It's one of the largest parks in Tokyo. And I think we only saw, I want to say like maybe 10 or 15% of the park in the couple of hours that we were there. It's so big and there's so much to see. But yeah, we saw all these spiders and some looked like they were just green and some looked like they had green and red, but maybe I was just seeing the fronts and backs of different spiders who all looked the same. Got the red side of this one. Um, took tons of photos. It's really hard to photograph spiders because the camera wants to focus in on everything surrounding it. So I think I had to take like 40 or 50 photos to get one where I could actually see the spider and it was in focus and it was large enough. Um, so I guess in the painting, the spider is about twice the actual size of what it was in real life, which is still really huge. Um, it looks a lot like these, I think they're called Argiope spiders that we used to have in my garden in Texas. Um, I was really, really terrified of spiders when I was little. Um, I have arachnophobia, the movie, to thank for that. I don't know why, um, <laughs> for most of my life, I thought that was a horror movie. And finally, somebody clued me in that it was a, a comedy, um, to my dismay. Um, <laughs> it's not so bad now. I see spiders now, and I put them on paper, and I take them outside. So I've made my peace with them. I really, really liked the way the his legs were so defined. The like little shiny little black straws. I'm kind of glad that I couldn't see his eyes in this photo, though. <laughs> I probably would bring back a little bit of that creepy arachnophobia that I used to experience so much of. So Shinjuku Park is so big and it has all kinds of interesting plants. There were only a few flowers in bloom, but the ones we saw were really cool. Um, these crazy, they had these crazy purple flowers that almost look like spiders themselves. And I'm not sure whether they normally look like that or if maybe the petals were just kind of curled up because of the rain. I'll have to find out what they're called so I can learn more about it. So we only saw a little bit of the park. We saw a Japanese style garden with a pond and some bridges and all this really beautifully maintained foliage. It's so interesting to be walking in such a beautiful place like this and then turn around and see a skyscraper. Like who put that there? What a beautiful, relaxing way to get outside of the city and all the busyness. So this painting, it really didn't seem to go anywhere for a while. The spider looked kind of realistic and the, but kind of plasticky and I thought the foliage looked kind of mushy. But then as soon as I started painting in the web, I thought, yeah, this is, this is coming together. It's really cool. The web really sets apart the foreground and the background, ties it all together. I 
was really, really, really terrified of spiders. I think not only arachnophobia, but also when I was maybe six or eight years old, um, we had these plastic bubble pipes. So you would fill it up with like bubble liquid and blow on it, right? But we kept him in the backyard <laughs> on the porch so one day i went outside and i picked one up and i put it in my mouth and a spider crawled into my mouth and it was so horrible like i'm getting goosebumps just talking about it Ugh. and you know i spit it out it was horrible and then another time probably around the same time in my life which was also around the time that i saw that movie um, i remember standing in my backyard and some of the neighborhood kids were over and somebody told me Oh, look, you've got a spider on you. I couldn't see it because it was in the middle of my back. And they were telling me it was a black widow. And who knows if it was a black widow? Like, we were kids. They probably didn't know. And it might have been the only kind of spider that we had ever heard of at that point. So we were all convinced that what it, that was what it was. I'm sure it was a jumping spider instead. Which actually sounds a little bit scarier. <laughs> um... But yeah, I remember just being so terrified that I couldn't even talk about it and tell people what was wrong. And But like they knew I needed help, but I couldn't talk about it. And so I think I was running around screaming. <laughs> it was it was a traumatizing event. Um, yeah, I hung out with boys, so they were probably mean to me about it. Who knows? It was crazy. But yeah, so I, I feel like I overcame my, I thought I overcame my arachnophobia, but maybe a little bit of it's still left over. If I saw a spider that big in my house, I, I don't know. Making this video is giving me the chills. Um, but I hope you enjoyed watching me paint it. Happy Halloween. Shinjuku 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 Shinjuku